Jean Piaget, born 1896. Jean Piaget was a Swiss clinical psychologist, former zoologist, mostly known for his work in child development. He studied the development of morality and knowledge. Piaget had great influence in French psychology and worked with the authors of the first IQ test, the Binet Simon. His work there led him to conclude that children think differently from adults. Doesn't seem too revolutionary a thought now, but at the time it was, as children were just considered small adults. Just after he switched from the field of zoology into the field of psychology, he was informed by a concern about the inevitability of war. War was taken as a natural cause of life due to the recent introduction of the theory of evolution. If the fittest are to survive, the unfit have to die out. It's only natural. Piaget argued that this could only be prevented by understanding conflict and encouraging morality. So that's exactly what he studied. For his studies, he observed his own three children in extreme detail and catalogued their cognitive developments. You probably heard of the overcaring mother, he was probably the overcaring father. Although he did it for science. His research resulted in him creating a cognitive development skill for children that are still being taught today. With markers like object permanence. The idea that even though I hide the apple underneath the curtain, you know if I remove the curtain the apple is still there. Except it's not. Because it's a video. You got tricked. Piaget created the International Center for Genetic Epistemology, the study on the origin of knowledge, in 1995 and he served there as director until his death in 1980. Piaget spent a lot of time in his study reading and writing texts on all sorts of topics. After his death, many of these papers were catalogued to look for unpublished papers and theories, with relative success. Here you can see him sitting in his study, and no, he did likely not die because the shelf collapsed on his face. Although the cause of death is unknown, his body did not show any shelf-induced malformation. But then again, who knows, right? Now this was a short summary of Piaget's life. I hope you learned something, till next time, and see ya!